Hey amigos, today I am going to talk about my favorite cards that are rotating uh, from Standard. I'm going to go color by color and I want you guys to in the comments let me know which cards you really liked that I liked and also which cards that I really liked that you hated. So first we'll go with green, we got the Ranger class. This this card was an all-star when it first came out, but um, it just kind of died off. Uh, it went well in that mono green deck, and then when the last two sets were added, it just kind of no one played it anymore. And then Toski. Possibly my favorite card on this entire list. Probably tied with Valky over here. Uh, this card, I, I made tons of decks with this card. I tried to jam it at anything with green. Problem with this card was Meat Hook Massacre. Meat Hook Massacre and, you know, tons of exile cards in white. That's what made this card hard. I tried to build decks around um, having a bunch of creatures that could hit in for one turn. You draw four cards, then they waste their card in exile. It's kind of like a five for one. But still, most cards that wanted decks that wanted to beat down didn't need to draw cards. They wanted to win before they would have to start drawing cards. Um, next, we'll go with red. This should actually be in gold. We got Crackle with Power. I uh, made a couple different decks with this kind of a fun one-shot kill card really liked it um, didn't see too much competitive play though usually if you wanted to spend that much mana you're playing a magma opus or something else other card I liked Valakut Expiration pretty much reds only uh, card advantage I know you can say big score or you know seize the spoils and the other one that's just like big score but those if you think about it, you're discarding a card and playing a card to get two cards, so it's really uh, card even, but you would get the treasures. Uh, this this didn't see much play except in that crazy landfall deck uh, that did okay when it first came out uh, about a month ago, but people got wise to it, and it's actually really easy to beat. Now for white, Redain is not my favorite, it's the Valkmira. Especially when it first came out and people didn't know how to assign the damage, like, you'd often end up quad blocking a creature and they wouldn't kill any of them. Uh, this this kind of lost favor for me with all the exile effects like Vanishing Verse and stuff. And it just seemed like there were other better cards to put in the decks. Though still, this, this is my third favorite behind Valky and uh, Toski. Next, we got Felidar Retreat. Won a couple drafts with this. You get this card and draft it as nuts. Um, but usually aggressive decks. I try to put it in control decks, and you often you just want to draw something else instead of it. The dream was you you get this out, and then every turn from there on out, you're playing control. You're probably going to play a land. You're either going to get a creature or buff all your creatures. Didn't work out like I hoped it would. This also did well in the landfall deck for that one week it was out. Next is blue. Now Demi-Lich, Demi-Lich as a card and how it played looked ridiculous, but it wasn't one of my favorite card cards, but probably my favorite art. Mordenkainen, love this guy. Wish his ultimate was different though, it was pretty dumb. You, you basically never got to it, and even if you did, you didn't want, didn't really want to do it. You just wanted to create a dog or draw more cards. Uh, yeah. I really like this card, but too expensive. The dog was too easy to get rid of. And then we got Jace the Mirror Mage. No one played this. I love playing this in um, my control decks. Love being able to kick. Having two of them out makes them harder to remove. Uh, pretty much only you can take care of both with Shadows Verdict or that red one that deals five damage. Can't think of it. Yeah. Another art one that I also like. Uh, as a card too, but tried making flash decks and stuff with it. Never really did what I wanted it to do. Usually if you're getting beat down is by a bunch of little creatures. They don't care if you um, tap down a little one for a turn. My two favorite artifacts, and I don't know, tell me if you guys agree with this. Artifacts, very weak in the current standard. Not many, usually in standard there's some artifacts that are included in tons of decks. I guess the, um, oh, what's it called? Draw Crew. I 
bank buster would probably be the the most common artifact that you see out there but other than pure artifact decks there's not many artifacts that saw a lot of play i like the cosmos elixir um try to put it in life gain decks control decks usually if you don't draw the card and you just gain two life it really has to be out for three or four turns to make a difference so it didn't work out great i have vecna i liked it for a similar reason to cosmos elixir unfortunately losing the life if it if it still lost life when it came into play but didn't when you drew the card i think it would have been much more playable but i really like it and i like vecna and i like stranger things as far as black goes agadim's awakening loved it uh it was an auto include in most of my mono black decks at least the ones that ran creatures it's a good card doesn't have a lot of the downfalls the other cards i liked had inscription of ruin i love it playing in the blood money deck it's fun when you can do the triple option and sometimes just the opponent will only have two cards in their hand and making them discard both of them is a you know a game ruiner for them poet's quill one of the few things that can give lifelink other than the rune of sustenance um, to a creature. This was great because you could keep reusing it, plus you get to learn. Cost too much. That's, uh, that's why it didn't work out. Favorite gold cards. You know what? Let's, let's put these together so we have more room. Alright, these are my five favorite gold cards. Loved Rowan. Loved the, being able to do both. Like the ultimate for Rowan. I uh, like drawing two cards with Will and especially like the constant uh, in, since the sorceries cost one less to cast. Surprise it wasn't in more uh, is it decks but most people didn't find room for it. Kai the Exorable really like this card. I like being able to exile something and I like the plus one plus one a lot. And if you can get the ultimate, it's pretty good, especially if they just keep killing your planeswalkers. You got a few in the graveyard, or some legendary creatures, you can get them uh, back for free. Skeletal Swarming, love this card too. Um, I thought it worked good in the Golgari Blood Money decks, uh, just like yesterday's video. I don't, I don't see a problem with this card. It just never saw much play. Once they remove it, you just have a bunch of 1-1 skeletons that are garbage out on the field. If they haven't already killed those two, though. Coma, this was big with uh, the Simic Ramp about a year ago. Uh, you'd ramp to this, and it'd be really hard to deal with. Then Vanishing Verse and March and a bunch of other crap that Exiles was able to get rid of it too easily. Lastly, for the gold cards, one of everybody's favorite, unless you're playing against it. I like the Tibble. I think most people like the Tibble better than the Valky. And when they play Valky, I know I know that good opponents know what you have in your hand already. I get that, but it still bothers me when people look at my hand with this or duress. Uh, it makes me want to throw my cell phone through the computer. Straight through the screen. Break them both. <laughs> but yeah, the Tibble itself was wicked cool. I, um, I think everyone agrees with that. All right, and as far as my favorite land that's rotating, Den of the Bugbear. I like having the extra creature. So even after you attack, you still get something on the board, which none of the other man lands provided. Uh, this was a highly playable card. Not many of these were super uh, popular. I'll put them over here real quick, the cards that got a ton of play, or at least a good amount. Like, Agadeem's is a good amount, not a ton. But yeah, that's pretty much, as far as cards I like that got played a lot, are just these four. Tomorrow, I'll uh, show you the list of cards that are remaining in standard. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see what day it happens. But these are my favorite cards. Leave some comments. What were your favorite cards that are leaving? What cards of mine do you also like or hate? That's all. Adios, amigos.